I'm going to transfer the image now I've moved it might not be in the exact spot but that's okay there you go and that's a quick and easy way on how to transfer an image Be using that blue over here, here, inside there, here, there, and here. We just need to paint away. We're up to making the leaves now. So what you need is yellow, blue, and a little bit of magenta. So you mix in, you always start with yellow, then a tiny bit of blue, mix it in. And we're going to use the magenta to dull it. It's because we're doing eucalyptus leaves, they're not bright green almost looks like an army green or we call it sap green color we're going to be coloring and painting this one all the leaves except for the stems don't do the stems we're going to leave them in white Now we're going to be doing the shadows and the highlights on the lace. You need white and you need to darken your green with the magenta. Okay, so using a round brush, okay, we are going to start by adding a bit of white up at the top and you go on sort of like a line and let it go um, fade away, so to speak. And then maybe clean your brush and just add a little bit more of white up at the top of that first leaf. Just sort of mixing it in. Not too much like I just did. If that happens, just use a bit of water. And just make it flow. Now with the dark green, I'm going to use that on the bottom leaf here, more of a shadow. And 
and then I'm going to use the white again just to bring the vein of the leaf in the middle I'm going to add a bit more of white to highlight the top leaf We're going to do the same for this leaf here, so starting from the top going to paint all the stems and the buds in white except where the flowers are going to be just using plain white and the brush so we're going to be making the flowers we're going to be using magenta and red now I'm going to be using a round small brush or you're going to use your hand to flick from the base of the flower out and we're going to do what we call like an impasto so impasto means a paint which is applied really thickly we're starting with the magenta And then you go over with red. It gives not a nice textured effect. And once you've done those two colors, you add some yellow dots on the edge of the flower. So to do these parts here, you need just a little bit of magenta, water down and um, just going to go over this one that I've just done. It needs to be watered down and then clean your brush, clean brush 
and you move the magenta up with a clean brush and water but not all the way to the top just up to there we're going to do the same thing on the buds water down magenta clean your brush get the paint and move it up so that's why we did the white underneath it helps the paint to flow with this water watercolor effect we're doing the same thing down here as well now with the brown we're going to go over where we've done what we've done on the magenta just to sort of give it a bit of a shadow and more are just underneath here so not everywhere on the side just imagine the light is coming from here and hitting the stem and the, from this side so we need like a shadow underneath here and we're using the brown for that gives the um also our little buds a bit more volume and shape We're going to be painting the background. I've chosen orange because orange complements a lot with the blue and these reds and the greens. But you can choose any color you want. So I'm using yellow and magenta to mix in my orange. And now we're just going to be painting the background in the one color. Once it's all all the background is done you can maybe change the water wash your brushes then we're going to come back to outline with black The last thing to do is to outline with a round small brush, the smallest brush you can get, with black. And on the inside, we're only going to maybe just bring the black in 
just in certain areas to accentuate part of the inside so a little bit around this leaf around here around this third leaf here coming in from here maybe just outline tiny tiny bit around the flowers um, and around this leaf here I'm going to paint it as well so make sure that your black is nice and flowy and not too thick so you need a little bit of water I'm using like a size 2 size 3 brush Now if the paint is still wet, the background, maybe just put your hands on top to lift your hand up. And very slowly you go around with the brush. This is the fiddly part of this activity. The other option if you don't want to use paint if, is to let it dry completely and if you've got a thin um, tipped permanent black marker you can do it with that as well so it's sort of your choice depending on how shaky you are with your hands to do the outline a good tip to so that you, your hands are not shaking is to always have your hand on the surface somewhere that always helps with the shaky hands Just go around a few bits with the black on the inside, maybe around the buds and around the flower where we've got the, um, the shadows. Use your guts to feel where you need to add a little bit more if needs be. If you notice on my, I've got some really thick lines here and then go thin and thick again and thin again. Gives it more flow and interest as well. And last thing but not least, do not forget to sign your painting.